Hello friends, welcome to another tutorial from rcvacademy.com. In this tutorial, I'll explain you about the manifesto for agile software development and the four key values that are defined in the agile manifesto. So to give a, give a bit of brief background around the Agile Manifesto, Agile Manifesto was written in February 2001 by 17 independent-minded software practitioners. So if you go to agilealliance.org website, you will find the names of those practitioners um, which uh, who have written or who have came up on the consensus to form the Agile Manifesto, which overcomes the gaps and the issues or, or the limitations that were there in the previous development methodologies like Waterfall. So not all, not everyone in, the, in those 17 practitioners agreed to each and every idea that they have raised, but they have come to a common consensus. Um, and that's when Agile Manifesto was written. Uh, so the first value that was mentioned in the Agile Manifesto was in individuals and interactions over processes and tools. What does that means is that individual valuing your individual uh, and interactions between the individuals or within the team and business stakeholders or your client is more important as compared to the processes and tools. So they didn't mean that you need to ignore the processes and tools altogether or completely. Uh, the, the the value just defines that uh, interaction within the team uh, should be um, open, should be fluid, uh, and should be given more importance rather than uh, being tied up by the processes and tools for the interaction and decision making. So that's the key value of the, uh, the first key value of the Agile Manifesto. Um, the second value of Agile Manifesto is working software over comprehensive documentation. So what that means is that the Agile uh, software development focuses more on the working software rather than having a comprehensive uh, documentation before you actually uh, start with the development. As in the waterfall uh, development methodology, we used to have uh, heaps and heaps of documentation uh, which started from the requirements gathering um, phase when all the requirement gathering happened then it used to be uh, design um, uh, solution designing and post that development testing and all those phases came in uh, and customer or uh, the client or your uh, basically the end user was never involved after the requirement phase uh, in the complete life cycle he was only involved during the user acceptance testing phase um, and there was very less opportunity for the feedback from the um, end user. So the second value um, of Agile Manifesto focuses more or uh, gives more priority to the working software over the comprehensive documentation at, as it used to be in the waterfall methodology. Uh, this doesn't mean that Agile doesn't give importance to the comprehensive uh, doesn't give importance to the documentation or uh, this doesn't mean that in agile you don't need to do any documentation you do need to documentation as and when required and not the comprehensive uh, documentation that was used to to be done in the waterfall development methodology um, the third uh, principle uh, or the third value of Agile Manifesto is customer collaboration or contract negotiation. So in this uh, value, what it meant is that collaborating with the customer in all the phases of your development uh, or all the iterations that you are doing is very important over the contract negotiation. Contract negotiation is important in Agile, but uh, customer collaboration is more priority uh, because you are following the iterative uh, development or you are, you are developing within the sprints so there is a continuous feedback and and there is continuous so every post sprint you give a demo to your stakeholders uh, and early feedback is uh, gained by the team what what exactly is going right and wrong 
uh, with with that working software that that you delivered within uh, that particular sprint so because of that you get early feedback early collaboration with the customer and each and every sprint you there is a there is a feedback from the customer whether the team is delivering or developing in the right direction as required by the end user or not um, so this is another or this is a third value of the agile manifesto the fourth and the last value of agile manifesto is responding to change over following a plan so traditional software development uh, regarded change as an expense right so in waterfall methodology all the requirements need to be logged in before you actually start the next phase so in in traditional uh, software development change was kind of an expense if any change was required it was quoted as a change request now with with agile uh, the shortness of the iteration or the or the sprints uh, means that the priorities uh, can be shifted from iteration to iteration and new features can be added into the next iteration so because of the smaller sprint because you uh, you develop something in the sprint with which is like two to four week cycle and you give a demo to the customer uh, the early feedback is received by the customer and the team has um, ability or uh, still they have the bandwidth to respond to a change rather than following a predefined plan that was there in the waterfall uh, development methodology so that's the another key value or um, the value of the agile manifesto so all these values um, give more priority or more weightage to the first part rather over the second uh, second part uh, and say having said that that doesn't mean that the second part um, is is not important at all in agile methodology it is but the priority is over um, in, is more emphasis emphasis is more on the first uh, part of these values so that is pretty much all about the agile um, manifesto for software development hope you like the video uh, please share and subscribe to the channel for more useful videos thank you